Hey there, I'm David Amos, the Content Technical Lead at RealPython, co-author of Python Basics, a practical introduction to Python 3, and host of the RealPython Office Hours. The Office Hours is a weekly hour-long meeting that brings together RealPython authors, video course instructors, and members of the RealPython community for an exclusive members-only chat about all things Python. During Office Hours, you'll get the inside scoop on recently published RealPython articles. So the takeaway here is that if this were truly a pass by value, meaning that if Python took arguments, when you, when you pass an argument into a, a function, if it were passed by value, it should get a totally new copy of that argument. And it should have a different memory address from the original thing that you passed into it. But it doesn't. When you look at the address of n, and then pass n in as the argument to the increment function, and then look at that address, it's the same memory address. It's getting the same value in memory as this, which seems like pass by reference. You'll learn about all the resources real Python members have at their fingertips. Gotcha. So you want to start from the basics. So I would say, you know, we've got these learning paths, and I think this would be a really good place for you to start. And there's a, one of these is an introduction to Python learning path. Working through some of this is going to be a good way to learn some of the basics of the language and get some of some experience with that. There's quizzes with each of these. You'll get to discuss strategies for learning Python more effectively. If you pick a project that's too big and you get stuck, that's also a learning like you can learn from that. You sort of figure out where your limits are and what you need to you find some goals for you to work towards, right? So rather than getting, you know, all upset or, you know, demotivated by that, say, okay. And that's kind of where the journaling can come in too. It's like, okay, take note of, I tried to do this. I didn't understand it. So I need to learn about X and I need to learn about Y. And you can set some goals for yourself. You can get help with things like setting up your editor. And so you'll see here where it says Python 3.8.4 64-bit. If yep. I click on that, it will actually show you where where the interpreter lives. And of course, you'll have the opportunity to get help with coding questions. What Ken is trying to do here is uh, create a circle class. To initialize it, you pass the circumference, is that correct? Correct, yeah. You pass the circumference of the, of the circle. Uh, and then it will calculate things like the radius. This will, right, if I create a class, then I should uh, pass in the, the radius and then I'll get the a circumference. To turn it into a property, you just use this property decorator. And now uh, what I can do is it almost looks like you've got a decorator now from the uh, method name. Mm -hmm. And you do dot setter, like what, what happens when you set this to a value. And you use the same name for the method. If we do a circle of radius one and the circumference, and then we set the circumference to 10, and we should see an updated radius there of 15.7. Uh, Real Python's office hours is a great way to maximize the value of your membership. So come hang out in real time with real people at Real Python. See you there.